Hello everybody, tonight we're going to do a homemade chicken parmigiana. For those who don't know what that is, it's a bit of chicken. You can either use chicken breast or chicken schnitzel, it's up to you. Any sort of ham. We've also got tomato paste and some cheese. So it goes the chicken, the tomato paste, the ham and the cheese and then we do it the quick way, but you probably should cook it in a toaster oven, but we can just put it in the microwave for 30 seconds because that's the quickest way and after a long day you want to get it done ASAP. So we put our veggies and our potato on not that long ago, so we're going to have the chicken parmigiana, the veggies and the mashed potatoes. So to start off with, we just have to cook the chicken. The chicken has to be cooked and you'll know it's cooked obviously when it's white all the way through. Now, don't really have to worry about cutting into it too much because you can cut into it, but like the ham and the cheese and the tomato paste will cover any cuts you make. So, presentation shouldn't really change unless you literally cut it in half. I'm just going to start this cooking. Bear with me. Sorry, we've just got to get it stuck together. We've got a fry pan here, a bit of oil. So just put that there and we'll just grab our chicken. So you want them roughly with this thick. If they're thicker than that, you can just slice it in half. Be careful. If you have to slice it, be careful of your fingers. We don't want any accidents there. So just going to pop them in there and we're going to start them cooking. So this fry pan can only fit two pieces in at a time. That's alright because what we can do in the meantime, so I'm going to wash my hands first. We don't want any cross contamination. We've got a sink full of hot water here. What we're going to do while our chicken is starting to cook, we're going to slice our cheese. You can also use like processed sliced cheese. It's up to you um, what you use. So we've just got um, mature cheddar cheese. We've put a bag around it for freshness and all that. So. Yeah, so yeah. probably slice it about so thick. So. It's a bit thin, it doesn't matter. You don't want it to overpower the cheese, so you don't want it really, really thick. So it's probably something about this thickness. Just do that. So we're gonna just cut a few pieces for each piece of chicken, so you don't run out of cheese. Or one of those sliced cheeses for a piece of chicken. And you cooking, so I'm just going to turn it over. Now, the thin of the piece of chicken, obviously, the cricket's going to cook, so they've already started cooking the oil too hot. So we're going to go to here. So we're going to wrap that so thickness. Two pieces of cheese on either, on each piece of chicken. So, as I said, you can use chicken sizzle for this, but we just use plain old chicken breast. Any tomato paste, no specific brand, any, anything you like. If you want the cheaper option rather than the, the wide known brand, it's entirely up to you. So it, just, it just depends on that. That is sitting a lot, I can hear it. We're just going to turn that down a bit because it's sitting a fair amount. So just be careful. So when you're, you're cutting and slice in the middle here to see it's cooked, you don't really have to worry too much because, as I said, all those ingredients will cover up any cuts you make in the middle. It's really, really sitting. So there is no particular brand of um, um, ham. It's just a smoked ham. So you can use honey ham, shoulder ham, any ham you like. And yeah, so we might just come back when things are on their way. Hi everybody, welcome back. We have strained our veggies because they are ready. We've got our last two pieces cooking in the fry pan. Now the first thought would be to jump in and straight, straight away to do this, but that's not a good idea because the cheese and everything else will go cold while it's waiting for the rest of the food. So we're just going to turn, um, turn it 
turn the chicken and I'm also going to cut a piece out of the chicken already yet and I'm also going to check the potatoes. So we put lids on these because as you can see it's put a, quite a lot of oil over the stove due to it's spitting and we didn't want any fat fires to occur because that, that just fucked my eye up completely so we didn't want that. And we put a lid on the potatoes to hurry them along a little bit. I don't really think that'll be ready yet. No, no, that's not ready. So they are still going. But yes, we, we will show you the um, how, how to top off the chicken when it's all ready together. Now, the quicker way to do it, you know, the quick way to do it is just chuck it in my way for 30 seconds, which is what we're going to do. Because we've had a very, very long day today. And that's the quickest way. But as I said, the toaster oven is probably the better option to melt the cheese because we're only using it to melt the cheese so we just put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds so everything won't be too long so we'll be back when it's ready hi everybody so everything is cooked now so what we do is first off i forgot to get a butter knife just bear with me you can just look at that tasty chicken there for a few seconds so what we do first is we grab our tomato paste. As you can see this is already open, that's because we had this not that long ago, so put a generous amount of that on. So we just sort of smother the chicken with the tomato paste. So about that much. Um, so just do the same for all of them, unless someone doesn't like tomato paste, but then there's no point in cooking the recipe, is it? So you have to have tomato paste to make a chicken parmesan, otherwise it's just a chicken with a piece of ham and cheese. <laughs> so, just put that on there like that. So we want a pretty decent amount on there. So probably roughly about that much. They're pretty much covered. You can add more if you if you if you want. So that's probably probably a good amount. The next thing we put on is the ham. So We've got our smoked ham here. As I said, any ham will do. So we just fold that and we'll put that on there. And we, depending on how big the chicken is, that's how much cheese you put on. But since I thought I would need two, but I've obviously got too much cheese now because I only needed one piece of chicken. Oh, I mean cheese. I'm a bit tired. You'll have to forgive me. I did not go to sleep till one in the morning. This morning and got up at like 7 o'clock, so I'm just a bit tired. If I fumble and stumble, that's why. So yeah, just do that on all of them. I also have too much ham. But that's alright, we can eat, we can fix that easily. You just eat a piece. So there's our ham done, and we just put the cheese on there. So yeah, you want your cheese around that thickness. Now, we, we do the, oh, I'm going to do the easy way tonight, which is to just chuck it in the microwave until the cheese is melted. Which I reckon will probably be like 30 seconds or something like that. So we'll start that. Next, we have strained our potatoes. I think. Yes, we did. Um, a bit of mash in somewhere. Oh, it's in here. So we just kind of mash it. We make creamy potatoes. And we add more butter and more milk than most of you will usually add in. So mash these. I think it's a bit hot with steam there. Yeah. So that's done. That's not melted yet, so we're going to put it in for another 30 seconds. The cheese needs to be melted to do this. I'll have to excuse the funny faces if you see any of that. Taste and melt on there. 
and this butter is not quite finished. So I was adding that. It's not not cooperating. I don't know why I didn't think of that first. sort of melted in there. We might actually just put that in for like a few more seconds because I'd like it a little bit more melted than that but that's all right. If it doesn't melt any more than that, that's, that's still pretty good. That's why I said it's best to use the toaster oven. This is what we usually use but we're a bit tired after a long day today so we just thought the microwave might be easier. A few tablespoons in there. Get a lot better off there. So that should be enough. So that should be plenty. So you can put the bone yourself. Because that plate is a bit hot. There we go. So that's what it is. Oh, you can also use like sliced cheese if you want or anything like that. Doesn't really particularly make a difference. I don't. I don't feel like it does anyway. So just got. I just mix the butter in before I do the, with the anything with the milk yet. It was working. I was just pushing this little bottle button here. So if you thought it was broken, it's not. It's just I didn't want potatoes to go everywhere. Yeah, still, we still put a fair bit of milk in too, so that was, that was a fair bit, so let's mix that in. back when everything's plated up and then you can have all get it on the plate. We'll see you shortly. Hi everybody, welcome back. As you can see here are here is our dinner plated up. So we've got the chicken here and we've got our potatoes and our veggies. This is a pretty enjoyable meal that pretty much anyone will like. Unless they don't like tomato paste, then that's probably a waste of time cooking this. But if, if they do, and everyone enjoys something like this, it's probably a good meal to cook at home. Just for something different, and something that's pretty easy and simple. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Good night.